Hey everyone, today I'll be reviewing the course Introduction to Information Security that I took back in the summer 2023 semester as part of Georgia Tech's OMSCS program. I chose to take this course because I heard it was on the lighter side and it was also project-based, which I thought made it a good candidate for the summer semester, which is a bit shorter than the spring and fall semesters. And I also had a few senior engineers who recommended taking a security class to me because security is always a consideration whenever you're releasing software out into the world. As for the content of the class, there are lectures which cover a whole range of different types of security, including security for software, operating systems, databases, different types of malware, firewalls, cryptography, as well as mobile security. And there's also an open source textbook in the form of a Google Doc, which links to a bunch of online resources related to this lecture material. The remaining part of this class was the projects, which were for the most part in a capture the flag style, which if you're not familiar with is a common way of setting up different security challenges where you move through the projects by capturing different flags and finding clues to find subsequent flags. I took the class in the summer so there were seven projects, one of which was extra credit, and there's normally eight in the spring and fall semesters. The first project was called Man in the Middle, and in it we analyzed packet captures in order to find clues and capture different flags with the ultimate goal of figuring out the identity of a group of attackers. I thought that this project was really fun. It was a good introduction into the capture the flag style, and I had a lot of fun just looking through all the packet captures in order to figure out all the different clues. The next project was called Malware Analysis, and in it we used two different tools in order to classify different pieces of malware. We were given some supplemental material about how these tools actually worked, but in practice they were essentially black boxes to us, so I felt like I didn't really learn that much in this project. And some of the categories that we were using to classify the malware weren't super well defined, so that also made this project just a bit frustrating. The third project was on API security, and in it we were given a website as well as some swagger documentation for REST calls to that website. And we looked for clues on the website as well as in the documentation in order to capture different flags by doing things like path traversal attacks and generating malformed JSON web tokens with the ultimate goal of gaining authorization to a part of the website. I really enjoyed this project. I have some experience in web development from my job and I found it really fun to look for the different clues and capture the flags. The next project was on cryptography and in it we wrote some Python functions in order to decode some ciphers and crack some weak RSA keys. This project was pretty fun. It was definitely on the lighter side and it was actually the only project which directly linked to the lecture material. The next project was on binary exploitation where we used C in order to do things like manipulate pointers and cause buffer overflows in order to capture different flags. This project was also pretty fun because it was in a capture the flag style, although some of the project requirements made it sort of unnecessarily confusing at points. So this wasn't my favorite project, but it was still pretty fun. I didn't do the extra credit project. So the last project that I did was on the log for shell exploit, which if you don't know, is an exploit of Java's log4j logging package, which occurred only a few years ago. I really enjoyed this project. We wrote some Java code and we sent some terminal commands in order to gain remote access to a system. And this was probably one of my favorite projects in all of OMSCS. In my job, we actually had to respond to the log4shell incident and write a patch for our software and push it out to customers. So it was really cool to learn how this exploit actually works and see how attackers would actually use it to compromise the system. So as for pros of the class, I think the lectures are really well done. They might be a little bit on the dry side, but for the most part, I think that they go into a good amount of depth on different topics and they cover a wide range of topics in security. So I really liked them. I also really like the fact that we were given an open source textbook because it allows you to go more in depth into some of the lecture material if you wanted to. And it really provided a bunch of great online resources. Being a summer course, I also liked the fact that the only grade was related to the projects. 
This made the class really fun and straightforward as there were no exams or other assignments to worry about. And overall, I do think that these projects are well done. Like I mentioned, the log for shell project was one of my favorite in all of OMSCS, but for the most part, all of the capture the flag style projects were enjoyable to complete. Each project is also run by a different TA. And for the most part, these TAs did a good job of providing supplemental material as well as video walkthroughs. So I really appreciated that as well. Some cons of this class are that for one, most of the projects are fun, but a few of them were a bit frustrating and had some unclear requirements. And because each project is run by a different TA, you get varying degrees of help. I also didn't like that the lectures don't tie into the projects at all. I think that this is a pretty big con for this class in particular because there aren't any exams or other assignments related to the lecture material. So you basically don't need to watch the lectures if you don't want to, since all of the grade is tied to the projects. I think this class could be really improved by coming up with other Capture the Flag style projects, which actually relate to the lecture material. Another con of this class is that the professor is not involved at all in the administration of the class. It's all left up to the TAs, which I think for the most part do a good job. But I found in the class that most of the interaction in the forum was between different students, which can be a good and a bad thing. Sometimes I wish that I could get some help from TAs, but I also found that I learned a lot from helping out other students who are having issues with the projects. Overall, I think that this is a good class to take, especially if you've never taken a security class before. This class is super practical, and as I mentioned, one of the projects even tied into a security incident that I saw come up at my job. I'd recommend this class to anyone who's looking to take a class that's a bit on the easier side, but is still pretty fun and has a lot of programming, especially if you're not concerned with the lack of hand-holding from the instructional staff. So that does it for my review of Intro to Information Security. In the next semester, I took two courses, High Performance Computer Architecture and Global Entrepreneurship. So in my next video, I'll be reviewing High Performance Computer Architecture. So I'll see you then.